What is hypersonic? So what exactly is hypersonic flight? Why is it so important, and why all the interest in it now? Extreme speed. The first thing to understand is that hypersonics isn't just a souped up version of supersonics. It's as different as supersonics is from regular flight, only the challenges are far greater and the solutions more elusive. In fact, it's a classic example of the law of diminishing returns. If you've been following defense or aerospace news in recent years, you may have noticed that there's been significant buzz about hypersonics. The USA, China, Russia, Germany, Britain, India, Australia, and even Indonesia have been conducting research into various aspects and problems of flying at Mach 5, 3,800 miles per hour, 6,125 kilometers per hour, and above. Much of this is basic research. But mixed into news feeds are reports of growing concern about hypersonic developments by America and Russia. For example, the Boeing X-43 of the late 90s and early 2000s was the next big project of USA. An unmanned experimental hypersonic aircraft with multiple planned scale variations, it's the fastest aircraft on record at approximately Mach 9.6. This technology demonstrator was rocket boosted and used a scrimjet to sustain flight. Another record holder is the Boeing X-51, also known as the Wave Rider because it was designed specifically to exploit its hypersonic shock wave to maintain it in flight. The unmanned research scrimjet aircraft first flew in 2010 and reached a speed of over Mach 5 on May 1, 2013 for 210 seconds, the longest duration powered hypersonic flight in the world. Russia's Zircon hypersonic cruise missile program keeps popping up in the news. Designed by NPO Machine Ostroy in a year and allegedly in production since 2012, it's been pushed fairly by state-run Russian media and has been the subject of much speculation in the West. Some reports claim that Zircon has already been fully developed and tested, and is now being widely deployed with the Russian armed forces. This is because this version of Zircon can supposedly travel at Mach 8, 6,090 miles per hour, and has a range of 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers, with 72 of the hypersonic missiles already being installed in a pair of gear off class cruisers, as well as on destroyers, submarines, with the Russian army set to get theirs by 2020. As to where Russia really is with regard to hypersonics might be provided by India, which is currently developing BrahMos-2, a hypersonic version of its BrahMos missile that can reach Mach 7 or 8. What's interesting is that a joint project with Russia's NPO Machino Stroania is aimed at developing a suitable hypersonic fuel. To some analysts. This joint work indicates that Russia's hypersonic technology is world class. One thing is for certain. Hypersonic flight is no longer a paper dream. Every returning spacecraft must traverse that barrier and with each passing year scientists and engineers come a step closer to taming the challenges that stand in the way of turning hypersonic flight from the study of spectacular test craft into a practical means of travel. Whether hypersonics becomes a way to travel between London to Sydney for lunch and tea breaks. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.